So this month is October, and with October comes horror games, obviously. So we have recently purchased a game called Inscription, which actually came out on October 19th. And we're going to go ahead and try it out today and see what happens. So all that's here is just a play button. So let's go ahead and see. Ah! Oh, <laughs> it's just intro, dude. Here we go. Inscription. What's it going to be? New game. Can't hit new game. Continue? Let's continue. This is a little bit funky. Hello? Oh, I see those eyes back there. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. All right, so we have four cards. Play the squirrel card. All right? Now play your stoat. An honorable death. Play the stoat. It requires a sacrifice. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power, one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt one, two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. How dull. What if I just attacked? Perfect. You know you can play more than one card per turn. Because you are learning, I will pass. Oh, he makes it easy for me. Joke's on you. Ooh, a river snapper. I think instead, I'll play a wolf. Hey, stop. What, the cards talk to you? Oh, I don't like that. The, oh. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. All right, let's advance forward. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Let's go for the cat. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it is as much as you can carry. Looks like it's time for a fight. Let's go ahead and do that. You are ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. 
It was the right play. I get it. You'll help me? Oh, oh no. Play along for now. Oh. I don't like this. Find the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. I think that should be good, right? We went ahead, we sacrificed two, and we played the river snapper. He should attack forward now. Excellent, okay. Now, I think it would be advantageous for us to grab a squirrel here for sacrifice. And we'll play our wolf on the squirrel and the cat. So it's wolf versus wolf, except I attack first. So the wolf is dead, and there we go. All right, we have another wolf. I'm gonna go ahead and end the turn. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. I saved the cat. I didn't sacrifice him. Looks like it's time for us to do a mystery event. We have two cards in front of us here. The wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. We already saw that. And the sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Go for the sparrow. All right. Now this, I don't know exactly what that means, but probably an enemy. Oh. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Cat or sparrow? Cat was pretty useful to us. Let's throw the sparrow away. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie. Pick me. Okay. We're gonna help the cat out. <laughs> what an honor. A ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. All right, so our stoat's a good stoat now. It's an OP stoat. Looks like we have a fight now. What's this? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. I don't like that at all. Right? Now we're gonna go ahead and sacrifice that for a cat. And ring the bell. We have a bat and a coyote. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Oh, that's pretty bad. Okay. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. He only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Uh, I'm uncomfortable. Wow, okay. We're gonna go ahead and sacrifice the cat to play the stoat back on the board. Yes, you are. I think I have to do this. I have to play a squirrel, and then I have to play the wolf and sacrifice them both. Oh no, I lost. You've lost. What's gonna happen? Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. No. Do I have to? I don't want to. Right. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Can I leave? Let's look around a little bit. He's got a safe. There's a painting here.
Just click the knife, but nothing is happening, it seems. Right, fine. Bring it here. I really just don't like your attitude. Can I see you better? You look like... Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now where were we? Right, so it looks like we have two lives then. We have two lives. Right, so he's presented us with three cards. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Or another cat. I'm going for the cat. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Let's put a cat in. Fire warmed the poor cat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the cat away from the fire and left. This is a little bit weird, man. This game has got immaculate vibes right now. It's actually kind of insane. I love the vibes.